Pipe Club. It's that time again. Dave here. How are y'all doing tonight, tomorrow, yesterday afternoon, the second Tuesday of next week, whenever you happen to be listening. And as always, I have Greg with me. Greg, how are you doing tonight? Oh, yeah, that's right. I gave Greg an extra week off. <laughs> yeah, um, I just took it on by, by myself to batch record two episodes on my own in this new format, showing the Minecraft. Uh, studio that we will be broadcasting from for the foreseeable future and I hope that everything goes well and whatnot I'm having some issues with sound myself because I have kids and kids like to get into things they don't really necessarily understand so I'm hoping that the kitties didn't goof up the sound too too badly I hope it came through all right for you guys there last week and I hope it sounds good this week just bear with me a moment um, I do have a pipe that I'm gonna tell you about it's just I was getting a mouthful of ash so I just want to uh, just quickly run a pipe cleaner through there. All right. I think we have it now. All right. So tonight I'm smoking a <clears throat> Muxiang Mini Warden. It's a, it's a nice small pipe. I figured it was a good thing for about a 10, 11 minute episode to have a small pipe. But again, I'm solo, so I'm going to be lighting a lot. Unfortunately, I don't know how things are going to go in regards to the sound um, until I have heard the recording of the voiceover that I'm doing right now as we speak. Um, yeah, my kids got in here. They maxed some knobs, turned some things down. Um, I pumped everything through my soundboard, so it, it's, it, it's a pain in the butt a little bit because uh, some of my levels are off and I had everything calibrated. And as you know, I've retired. Well, I haven't retired, but I've stopped using the uh, the uh, Audio Technica 2020 for now because Greg's mic and the one that I'm currently recording on are of the same maker, and I think it will give uh, more refined, more oh, uh, what's the term I'm looking for here? It will give our our sound a more unified sound. So one doesn't sound better than the other. Eh, well, I think I'm going to sound a little bit better than Greg until he can, you know, come up with the 60 bucks to get himself a little soundboard. And I forgot to turn the notifications off on my phone. That was just plain silly of me, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Okay. I'll just, uh... Check that really quick. Cool. Oh, yeah. Thunderstorm watches again. So, two weeks ago, from the 21st, there was a, a thunderstorm watch in effect. And uh, that's the weather. Currently, it's 75 degrees, real fill of 80, and no precipitation for at least 60 minutes. And uh, beautiful, as of 9 o'clock this morning. Because the notifications on the phone don't... They don't re reset like they're supposed to. But this is a pipe and TV talk show, not a weather talk show. So I've told you what I'm what I'm smoking out of, and what I'm smoking in it is the Cherokee from the Country Squire. I went with something, since I'm smoking in the middle of the afternoon when my family's gone, I went for something that would leave a good smell, a good room note after the fact, because, well, I also have my exhaust fans turned off, and it's kind of sticky down here, and somebody just notified me from somewhere else. I gotta remember to turn these notifications off. Uh, that was Discord that you just heard go whoop, whoop. Believe me, I am not this popular. <laughs> I just don't turn things off. Okay. So, what have we been watching? Um... 
We're taking a break this week from uh, Avatar. We're going to talk a little bit about Loki on Disney+. Plus. Been seeing some mixed reviews about the Loki online. I've been enjoying it. I mean, it's right up there with WandaVision, and it's unique. And um, I'm not going to go into detail, because I don't want to do, to, do too, ma too much spoiling. I actually don't want to do any spoiling, if I'm at all being honest. And um, I just want to talk. I mean, we got Loki. We pick up right where he we la last saw him in uh, Endgame. Where he escaped with the Tesseract, and we go from to see that story unfold. And it, it's interesting because I think these uh, these events are going to tie in specifically to the Doctor Strange movie. I'm not sure yet. I know that's the exactly what's going to happen with the, the events from WandaVision. They were meant to tie directly into Doctor Strange. Like, I think, in the if I remember the original release order right when, the, when you bring in the Disney Plus stuff into the MCU... Um, these series are supposed to go in, uh, I think it was supposed to be this order. It was supposed to go, you know, f Captain America. No, wait, that's not what it's called. Falcon and the Winter Soldier, because he's the new Captain America. Um, and then I think it was supposed to be Loki, and then I think it was supposed to be WandaVision. And I think right after WandaVision was over, it was supposed to lead right into uh, the new Doctor Strange movie. Well, that's not how it's working out because, you know, I'm here on July 7th and in two days time, we are going to be getting the Black Widow movie, which was supposed to be out a long time ago. But COVID, you know, that thing that the world's getting over, that pandemic, you know, the, the one that traditionally runs around every hundred years. Yeah. But overall, I, I've, I've been enjoying the series. I'm current. But if I'm not mistaken, there are only two more episodes left. And I think they're going to be interesting. Because um, you find out some things. It, it's really interesting. You get to learn some of Loki's background. You get to see how he reacts to certain things. It's uh, very, very interesting. To say the least. We want to get to see some different versions of Loki, since time travel's involved, and I can tell you all that without spoiling a dang thing. Because with time travel, of course you're going to see other versions of Loki. Oh, and I must say, Owen Wilson's in this, and I love his character. He's, it's it's interesting. It's just I've seen Owen Wilson in so many things now that I've liked him in, um, but this character is a bit of a departure from his normal character that I see him play, or I've seen him play, and uh, I must say, I like it. It's a it's a good uh, it's a good switch for him. So that's uh, that's the Loki I have about Loki. That made no sense. That was a bad pun. But we're coming up on time here. So if you want to keep up with me throughout the week, you can always follow me on Twitter at Doctor Alien Two Hundred One, and you can find the show on Twitter at Syndicated Pipe. You can find Badger on Twitter at the underscore Badger Piper. You can also find him on Instagram at the Badger Piper. Myself on Instagram as Dr. Allen 101 and Dr. Alien 201 where you can find all the show things and whatnot. Uh, Facebook, we have a group there for the show and anything that I do for productions, it's uh, Dr. Alien Productions and you can find me on Facebook as well under Dave Allen, not the famous one, that's my Facebook page. Also, our recycled email, which nobody wants to email, but I keep asking week in and week out, and I will continue to keep asking. Please give us an email at reverseflashtime at gmail.com if you want to uh, have a look at anything. And you can find this and information and everything else that I have mentioned 
in the description down below on YouTube. Thanks for watching, everybody, and good smokes.